Hi. Uh, I was uh, reading my novel, and I noticed that uh, it was the older version, whereas this is the newer one. It's a lot better than the older one. Trouble is, it's going to be harder to read. This the, the older one was easier to read. This is going to be harder to read. Yeah. Maybe I should uh, read it off the computer instead. Well, I'll try it. I'll try to read it. Here. Let's see here. Yeah, go back to... Okay. Yeah, I'm going to read it back here. This is going to be part seven. Part seven. Okay. Yeah, that's my grandmother's poem. Okay. Six, nine. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, it's going to be hard to read because it's crammed like that. All right. I'll try to read it, though. Okay, I'm going to start up. This is going to be another part seven, okay? So this will be part seven. All right. Will wondered... Uh, okay, well, okay, yeah, I read that, yeah. All right, yeah. Okay, I'm going to start over here. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot more condensed. All right. I'm gonna put this behind it so I don't ruin it. I mean, oh, that way the that way the moisture in my fingers doesn't ruin it. Okay, I'm gonna try to gonna try to read this now. All right. Brian Richardson took off took off to Berkeley to die in a nice place looking out over the bay. Will wonders ever cease? He asked himself. Getting lucky with a with renting a small million dollar home with a nice view. The only thing to the only thing he took with him were five laptops, a camera, and the DVDs. He changed his mind about only taking those when it's two point two. Oh, you know something? Okay. Hi, this is part seven. <laughs> and if you like what you're hearing and you read uh, a part of it in the DVD and you want to know more about it, the CDs that will be out there with the, the same title have a lot more of, what, of, the, of the book than what you have. And if you like what you are reading or seeing, and you want to find out where they are? Type in, type in, make first put down right put down a video, this video into a YouTube account. Get a YouTube account. Put this this video down, and call it project. Oh no, no call it. Okay, this is gonna be part seven. So uh, call it uh, Java uh, Jihad at Java Jills part seven. But put in the tags. Um, project Monster Zero or messages from the edge of earth and that should help it so people can find it and then you can go to them if they've done the same thing and they have part eight and stuff like that and then you can uh, learn more about it in the process maybe download those videos that expose Islam so okay it is 1119 I'll take it to 1130 1132 no yeah 1132 okay I'll continue all right. He changed his mind. Okay, he changed his mind. Uh, I, yeah, okay. He changed his mind uh, about only taking those when he thought about adding uh, something later to his live leak account making him go back for a family album and a video of himself with the cowboy in happier time and happier days he de he decided that in the last remaining weeks of his of living because he's got uh, uh, liver cancer he would write a science fiction novel that would expose islam brian noticed that on his aloha snack bar dvds and cds 
that whether they were CD or DVD, they all had blank spaces on the edges of them, allowing him to add more video to the DVD versions and writings to the CD versions. With such a case, he would have his DVDs having different parts of his novel read onto them in video form and different parts of his novel in computer prints uh, burned onto the data deficient CDs. Since he had so many DVDs and CDs, he felt he could make five exact copies each containing the exact same video of him reading his novel and he could make 20 CDs of the exact same thing since he is reading uh, since he would have more of his novel revealed on CD. Those who wanted to learn about the novel would those who wanted to learn about the novel more would have to find those on the internet who picked up a CD, not a DVD. Brian wanted 10 to 12 wanted 10 to 12 minutes of him reading his novel in video on the DVD, since such a time length was easy for someone to upload to YouTube, like sites later, should they choose to do so. Since Brian felt that the novel was very revealing about him and very embarrassing due to the sexual nature of the novel, Brian decided that this would be the one novel he would never publish. It could only be published in whole if those who picked up CDs and DVDs were not only many, but willing and able to upload them to the internet and publish it themselves and if they did that they could upload videos of Christian Prince, David Wood and more of his fellow cyber crusaders who he thought were excellent at exposing Islam helping to bring it down before America went the way of Europe. Since it's a notebook data format they can easily rewrite and change the novel to their own, their own liking, improve it, and make it their own, thought Brian. I don't care if they make a fantastic Hollywood movie out of it, turning themselves into millionaires, or send it to Japan and turn it into another Ghost in the Shell, or a, or a box full of fireplace, or whatever it was called. As long as they show how badly the Quran and, and Muhammad blow it, in their version of my novel, they plagiarize, hey, that's all I care about. Brian watched the sun setting over the mountains near the Golden Gate Bridge from the deck of his, his house. It was nearly a complete replay as he remembered it from near the precise same position when he and his parents visited friends in the Berkeley Hills when he was a toddler. Possibly only two years old at the time, he remembered feeling, he remembered feeling sad watching the sun go down due to the way the grown-ups were remarking about its setting. As the sun set now, Brian felt that if the novel failed to generate interest in finding out what happens to the lead character of the story, so be it, he thought. It's win-win for me either way. A bright side to a bad side, and vice versa. If I bring down Islam with it, fantastic. If it's totally ignored, like I'm expecting, well, at least the novel won't embarrass me. It will be safely in the trash, protecting whatever perception people still have of me. Brian viewed the novel as the one last ditch effort to create curiosity and a need to learn about what happens in the novel. Due to the process, Brian felt he could create sleeper cells when he'd later pull off something to generate a lot of news and activate them, making it possible for those who would have the data disks in their possession to upload the videos of his fellow cyber crusaders when they'd have, when they type
on their type into the web browser, yet again, Project Independence Day or Messages from the Edge of Earth. And for you, you'll have in the title, <laughs> in, 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 the, in the tags, Project Monster Zero, as well as Messages from the Edge of Earth to try to get people to rally around. If, and, and so maybe you can find out what's later on here as far as video goes. If you don't have the, uh, yeah, this version. Okay. All right. When Brian had all the CDs and DVDs ready, he headed for the BART stations again. Although he only tossed down 500 of them into the circular stone benches of the stations, he, he was shocked at how little energy he now had from the cancer. When he made it home, he was sweating profusely. He made a video showing how killer high his blood pressure was now. It read 280 over 150. Things are starting to go haywire, he said to the camera before uploading it to LiveLeak. It had been a couple of months since he quit taking his blood pressure medication. Still, he managed to dial a certain number without giving himself away, without giving himself a stroke. The num it was the number of the cowboy calling to apologize, fucker? Willard asked with, with simmering hatred. You know, that's a very good question, said Brian. I was calling to ask if you want a rematch with me. What? Screamed Willard with, with shock. You think you can take me? I would have killed you with just one punch if, if I wasn't holding back. Wow, I can't believe how stupid you are. I thought you actually had some brains, but not anymore. Wow. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, fucker. Bring it, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Bring it, bitch. Are you in, t in the area now? Oh, how I hope you are. Let's do it in the park for my, for my neighbors to see, okay? I thought you wanted to knock me out at the canal. I'm going to knock you the fuck out anywhere, bitch. Unlikely, said Brian. I used to box in college and fight in school as well. I never was, I was never knocked out. As a matter of fact, one time when these kids were throwing rocks at me, I accidentally, accidentally ran full force into a tether ball pole, creating a bong sound when my head struck it. All it did was uh, make me see stars. Why were they throwing rocks at you? Was it for you being a fag? Uh, no, uh, for I never was uh, gay. Uh, retard. On the other hand, yes, it was for thinking I was retarded. I was one of those types who had a tendency to be off in his own little world in class. That's because you are retarded. Well, retarded or not, Brian calmly said. I'm going to fight you on one condition. What's that, fag? It has to be video recorded using two cameras for two videos. Why the hell for? You want your humiliation recorded? Not exactly. You see, I have a LiveLeak account and on LiveLeak, loser type, loser, losers like us punching their uh, uh, lights out get a whole lot of, of views. In the process of us trying to knock the other guy out, or killing him, it would help help it, it would help it would help call attention to my fellow cyber crusaders who are excellent at exposing Islam. I mean, Willard uh, cut Brian off with calling him insane. You're fucking insane, <laughs> laughed Willard. Am I? And I'm not insane if I should just want to get pussy and beer all the time. Okay, okay, that's not insane. That is being a man. Got it. Beats the hell out of what you're doing shouted Willard. Ignoring the insult of being called insane, Brian went on and said, I'd have in the description of that video of why such, quote, insanity is taking place to call attention to, uh, number one, Christian Prince, two, David Wood, followed by Sam Shamoon, Nalan Yesmar, Ahmed Karen, Ahmed Karen, five, Craig Wynn, Robert Spencer, Pamela Geller, Robert Spencer, Bridget, I was going to say Bridget Gabriel, but then insane, screamed Willard as he was really, as is if he really meant it. You are fucking insane. I'll, 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 I'll also bring it, to, I'll also bring up those names on the videos 
I'll also bring up those names on the videos and tell the world that they are superb at letting us know just how badly the Quran blows it with science, giving some reasons on those two videos, since it will be two cameras I'll be using. One I'll be holding in my right hand to capture your rage. Viewers will get to see what, it, what a real cowboy looks like when trying to kill them with his fists as you charge furiously at me. And in the process, Islam is exposed to your rage at me when it goes viral should you actually kill me in the process. I don't, I don't plan. Let's see, what time is it? Oh shoot, I gotta stop it here. Sorry.